Hey guys, and today we are here to talk about the new map DLC coming out for Black Ops 2, July 2nd, called Vengeance, and July 2nd for Xbox 360, I don't really know about PS3, you know, unless it comes out a month later, but let's get started with the commentary. So, of course, the first map is Cove. It looks like a pretty cool map if you want to use kind of an SMG, maybe a saw rifle, or even go with a shotgun. It's kind of a terrain based map, so that means you have to use the terrain to kind of win the game. So, there's really no buildings. And uh, I have to say, maybe not my favorite map in the whole DLC out of the four. But, you know, I like it. It could be kind of fun if you do want to use an SMG. I'm kind of a sniper, so I'm probably, probably not that much people are going to get feeds on it, but I would suggest using SMG. It looks fun in Domination, because that, definitely that middle part, it's based in the Indian Ocean, and definitely the water makes it cooler. Just fun to play. Let's get on to the next map. Detour. And now to talk about the second map pack coming out to the DLC, it is Detour. Now, Detour is on a bridge, as you guys can probably tell by the name, so you know it's going to have roads in it, some type of city-based map. And it kind of reminds me of the George Washington Bridge. I don't know if they released the location of it, I didn't hear anything about it, but I'm kind of guessing it looks like the George Washington Bridge. And so there's two levels to the bridge. You know, of course, the upper level and the lower level. Now, the lower level is kind of meant for some close range shots, so definitely SMG and those assault rifles, maybe shotgun. And there's also the upper level, which is kind of close range too, with some of the barricades that you get, and also a lot of long range shots. I would suggest using a long range gun and also hold on to a, you know, kind of low gun that can actually kill some people that are trying to run at you and kill you or something like that. Definitely those uh, knifers. There's a lot of those in Black Ops 2 and everything. So I would definitely roll with that class. But, you know, it looks fun to play. Definitely if you get a war thug. And if the whole team's on the upper level, you're probably definitely going to get a lot of kills. Let's move on to the next map. Rush. So the third map and one of my favorite maps in this DLC, it looks like, is Rush. Rush is a kind of on a paintball range. It looks like maybe multiple maps or maybe just one, but it looks really nice. There is a lot of uh, head glitching spaces, which, you know, kind of iffy about, but I know there's SMG people and the SR rifle are going to like that a lot. Don't really know about the snipers. Snipers, I probably wouldn't use it on this map, but definitely if I want to roll with the SMG, I will. And uh, definitely like the middle of the map with the paintball, you know, kind of paintball. I'm trying to think of the main barricades, I guess you could say. So if you're definitely a person that likes using SMGs and assault rifles, I think this will definitely be the map for you. And it's really colorful and everything, so it'll look nice. Next map. Oh, blank. Now, the final multiplayer map here is definitely my favorite map. My favorite map from the whole Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty series, Summit. Well, in here, they call it Uplink. It's just a remake. They did it with other maps, such as Studio and Cliffside. They named it, you know, Firing Range Studio, and then they had Cliffside Havana. Can't really think of any more, but I remember those the most, and this one is definitely going to be probably the best I have to say. Summit was amazing. Definitely for those cross map tomahawks. I definitely loved smacking some people right in the face across the map with those. So it's kind of the same terrain as Summit. It looks kind of futuristic now. The other one, you know, it was futuristic too, but not that big. This one definitely looks a lot more colorful. There's no snow. Probably not the bongola there anymore if there is. Definitely gonna jump into that thing again. And uh, next to talk about is definitely the new zombie map pack. Let's go right to that. New zombies experience that we call Buried, featuring the reimagining of a fan favorite, the Ray Gun Mark II. Okay, guys, now we are here to talk about the new zombies map 
coming out for DLC, you know, they mostly always have a zombies map in every DLC. Definitely that resurrection one when it was only a zombies map. And this one looks a little bit more special, a little bit more better than the others, I'll say. There's a new person, it looks like, that, um, don't really know how to describe him. They didn't say much about him, but they said maybe you can use him to your advantage or use, uh, or an enemy. I'll probably go with enemy on that one because he did look a little bit vicious, and he did look like a zombie, but at the same time, he didn't. Now, the terrain of this map is underground. It's a western map. I don't know if you can go above ground yet. We'll find out when it comes out, which is soon, so we'll definitely find that out. And <clears throat> they also making a new gun, the Ray Gun. I think the Ray Gun Mark II, I think, or the Ray Gun, or the Ray Mark II. But it looks really big, kind of the same size as an assault rifle. Looks like it has a little bit more power to it. So I'm hoping, you know, that thing is gonna be a little bit more powerful for the Ray Gun. Definitely survive a little bit more rounds, and hopefully have some fun on this. So guys, that was the video for today about the Vengeance DLC map pack. It is coming out July 2nd to Xbox 360, probably August 2nd to PlayStation 3. And uh, definitely favorite map, I'll have to say, would be Uplink, but we'll find out when it comes out. And uh, just, you know, write in the comment section what do you think your favorite map is going to be and what the worst map is going to be. And any suggestions? Okay, guys, adios.